Hi everyone, I'm Hoodie Angel Brandon, and welcome back to another month of Fay Freebies. This time for the month of August, uh, we are kicking things off with Weekly Revival 1 featuring Celica and some armors that I don't really want. <laughs> this, uh, this one is uh, not super interesting to me, but it is the first of the uh, new Weekly Revivals that include the uh, Gen 2 units uh, that have dropped out of the pool. So it's kind of hype in that regard, but uh, I just, eh, eh, I don't use armors very much, and I've already got, like, two Fallen Celicas, I think? One or two. Uh, I might be mixing her with Brave Celica, actually. Uh, but I've got at least one of her already, and I don't use her, so, like, eh, eh. Uh, I think I want Ephraim uh, the most... I don't know, him or Harden. It was, it was. I was kind of thinking Harden just to fish for a blue unit that I'm looking for, but the odds of that are so unlikely. And instead, we got a Baruka, so whatever, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh well. Hopefully, the future banners are a little more exciting for me. Next up, we have Tiki and Nagi's battle. Uh, and Tiki is here too. <laughs> uh, double Tiki. Uh, we're gonna pull green if we can get a green stone. Uh, just one, that's perfect. Just try and get a Nagi. Uh, young Tiki wouldn't have been too bad to pick up either, but uh, instead we just got a Raven. Kind of annoyed, kind of sick of seeing him. I, I swear I've seen him way too often lately. Uh. For Focus Tempest Trial, red is a pretty solid color. Colorless isn't terrible either, especially I, she's getting a refine soon, right? Uh, but uh, we're going to... Uh, We'll pull the red. We didn't even get an option for colorless. Free Tibarn wouldn't be bad. Uh, don't know what I'd do with an Avel to be honest, but uh, instead we got a Soleil. Honestly, if I had gotten an Avel, I probably would have just fed her to Soleil for Guard Sword. But uh, moot point. We could pull that other one, but uh, I just got back to 600 orbs, so I kind of want to save, you know. All right, we have the Pirates Pride summoning event. Uh, this banner is actually, I'm a bit more tempted by it, uh, now that we've actually seen the skills and everything, than I was when we, uh, when it was first shown in the Fey channel. Uh, Tibarn's Dive Bomb skill, uh, looks like a cool option for Flyers, finally. Uh, a cool, like, offense-oriented option for the B slot for Flyers. I, I do think the restriction is a little scary i'm not sure how well it would do on like a long map uh without some kind of heal support but i could see sedith or even camilla just doing some nutty stuff with it so tibarn is very tempting xander of course is my my big bro but being a glorified cheerleader for veronica is very uh not appealing but i i don't know i still wouldn't mind getting them uh uh, we've got some good fodder over here, and then, uh, Geese is, yeah, well, he's an infantry lance, which isn't the most common thing, but other than that, uh, his fodder is, uh, wow, really, fire boost in, uh, in 2020, huh? Wow. Uh, but, so, I think, I, I'm, I don't want to go full ham on this banner because I am still in recovery mode, but I kind of want to pull, like, any like red any colorless maybe any green and red in the in the opening circle uh well uh should i do a full circle maybe maybe i don't know just a nana got my hopes up ever so slightly there for a second but uh yeah, we'll, we'll do one full circle, and then if, if I really feel it at the end of this after we see uh, the next banner, I could always come back, but, uh, oh, yes, yes, we got him, <laughs> Sedith, Sedith is eating good when he shows up, he's gonna have access to distant counter, he's gonna have access to guard bearing, oh man, plus attack, that really stings, but Sedith, my boy, is gonna have access to distant counter, gale force, well, actually, we'll just get Gale Force off Cordy. Uh, he's going to have Distant Counter, Guard Bearing, Heavy Blade 4, and Dive Bomb as potential uh, 
options. So he can roll he can rock either a full offense set or a defense set. Ooh, I'm excited for Seth. Oh, come on. When is he when is my boy coming? Uh and now now we'll 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 try for the for the big bro. My other big bro. Considering I, I just consider Seth to be like Fodlandy and Xander, so like, you know. Uh we'll we'll try. We'll try to, to get Xander while we're here. Uh but man, having plus attack on the Tibarn does make me very tempted to go for like another one to keep and then maybe another one for Camilla. If if Morgan could get it, I definitely want it for her, but uh <gasps> Ooh, Xander! Yo, this is super hype! Uh <laughs> I know it says Veronica, but let's be real. I'm pulling for this because it's got Xander on it. I I couldn't care less about Veronica. <laughs> Actually, Veronica's okay, but like compared to Xander, no, no. Uh, we'll we'll finish this off. Like I said, I kind of want two more Tibarns, but we saw how that went last time when when I pulled for Ingrid, right? <laughs> uh, uh. But we got we we close it out with a Soren. But like, yo, that is that is exciting. That is incredible. Uh, definitely gonna keep the Xander. Just want more uh, want more good uh, bu 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 uh, good green units. Just always need more of those. Maybe he can can Xander just murder uh, legendary Crom? I sure hope so because I'm sick of seeing him in arena assault. Uh, I mean, he's got Def Res. Also, he's my first, uh, these are my first, uh, what are they called? Resonant heroes, right? Uh, or harmonized heroes, uh, right? Uh, for the, uh, the, the mode, the mode that I don't like because they limit how many times you can play it. Makes me sad. I actually like that mode. That mode is really cool and I just hate how limited it is because it's just like, uh, <laughs> I can get really close usually, but I'm, I'm always just a little short. But anyway, that was incredible. Still kind of tempted to come back for more Tibarns, but yo, we got we got two of what we wanted, so I'm hyped. All right, for Weekly Revival 2, uh, I don't have any of these, so I'd be fine with any of them, but uh, we're going to try for green, I think. Uh, well, uh, I think I'd rather have Tiki for another Dragon Slayer. Uh, yeah. Just a Tharja. Nothing too special. Nothing too special. Definitely don't need either of them enough to uh, keep pulling, though. Alrighty, we got a new power banner, and I already have, like, two Shiros, so I don't need him, even though he's cool. Actually, uh, I don't mind his refine. I know it wasn't as great as a lot of people were hoping, considering how memed on he's been for, like, the past two years. Uh, and it would have been nice to have something a little more powerful, but I don't think it's that bad. Uh... I, de I refined his weapon, and uh, I think it'll probably be helpful for Arena Assault, so that's fine. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for Cecilia, because I'd like to merge her tome down. Uh, getting Setsuna wouldn't be terrible either, but, uh, uh, well, well, I guess we'll just go for that Setsuna then. I was just going to merge the, uh, if we got Cecilia, I was going to merge her tome down into my 4 star plus 10 one, but uh, I can just promote instead. Uh, her refine actually does look good enough that I am interested in getting it. Might just even promote my 4 star plus 10 and just keep her as a 5 star, I don't know yet. But that variant, not very helpful. We have the Forsyth and Python bound hero battle, uh, which is an excuse to pick blue to try and get an armor unit that if I get him, I'll probably shove him off in the corner and forget about him because armors are not fun. Uh... <laughs> But he's still the five star, so we'll go for him, I guess. Um, but we're definitely not gonna invest orbs into getting him. Uh, just to tell to you, that's not the male Robin that I was uh, hoping for. But fine. <laughs> All right, we've got uh, the third weekly revival featuring Zelgius, Veronica, and Micaiah. Uh, I've already got these two, so we'll go for Micaiah, but, uh, ooh, that's actually kind of, kind of tempting to get, uh, both blues and tr try to get Micaiah on that second one, too. 
Uh, uh, why not? We'll, we'll, we'll drop one more blue. I just always want more anti-armor units. More anti-armor, more anti-dragons. I like having those in reserve. I said we just got a Matilda. That's about what I expected, but whatever. Guys, I'm very sad about this banner. Uh, I want all these units. I've already got Lilith, but like I'd want more, but... Uh, uh, I think I'll pull for Caden. Well, never mind. Uh, we're going for Lilith then. Uh, but I spent too many orbs and now I cannot summon on this banner. How sad. At least we got Shauna, who's not the worst three star we could pull. Bye bye, Lilith. All right, we have Festival in Hoshido, still one of my favorite uh, seasonal banners. Uh, I've already got Xander and Alencia, so we'll go for Micaiah Ryoma as a backup. Uh, just gonna pull the one red. Uh, if I didn't spend so many orbs recently, I'd be tempted to go in for uh, to try and pick up those missing dancer units, but uh, alas, <laughs> uh, the orbs were not kind to me, and instead we just got a Wings of Mercy, which would have been great to give to a dancer had we gotten one. Oh well. Alright, we gotta go for a sheep. Uh, we'll go for the top sheep. Give us the sheep. Oh, uh, not a sheep, but our first ever uh, Lena, so that's kind of cool. Uh, that's 40 dragon flowers, and I don't think much else. Her fodder wasn't great, if I remember right, yeah. Uh, Def Res 2 is a nifty budget skill, I guess. Uh, but uh, not the uh, most exciting, but like I said, 40 dragon flowers. So that's cool. I will take it. For this round of double special heroes, I think green is the best color. Uh, followed by blue and then probably red and colorless. Uh, doesn't interest me that much. Uh, I mean, like, Bruno's cool, but he's, like, as far as a unit goes, I don't think he's anything super special. Uh, but we'll hope for a green orb. There's the one green. We will take that, pluck it right out of the summoning stone, and hope for something cool. Instead, we got a, uh, a kidna action. She's not terrible. She's not the, the best, but it's not terrible. That's a drive attack. So we'll just call it there. Thank you. So for heroes with ruse skills, uh, Anna and uh, her have slightly better fodder, I think, with their tier 4 skills. But I'm going to go for Annette just because I like her. Uh, but if there's no green orbs, uh, well, it's actually kind of tempting to pull all those greens. But I don't have the orbs to justify it right now, so I'll just pop this one and hope for something good. <gasps> Yes! It's Annie! Ah, oh, that's awesome. Thank you for free, Annette. Uh, and she's plus speed. I don't remember if her speed is good, but probably because <laughs> they love to push speed creep, so she's probably got decent speed. I don't remember. But uh, either way, Crusher makes her pretty dang cool because she just gives people extra movement, which is uh, nutty. Uh good support bot, uh, gap skills don't excite me too much, but, uh, I'm sure there's some kind of useful, that's what's weird, right, attack def gap gives attack def to an ally, but then she's also got rally attack speed, why, the, the attack is, like, conflicting, I feel, but, I guess it's so that you can still support units without having to specifically target them with the rally. I don't know, I just think gap skills are... Uh, you gotta plan too much for your team with it. It's uh, not something I like, but I am happy to have her. Thank you for free, Annette. Thank you, Ruse Skills Banner. For this very weird 
uh, voting gauntlet. Uh, we got another chance at uh, Fallen Bear Coot to uh, either merge or save for Warding Stance fodder. Uh, frankly, I don't even think that this gauntlet makes a lot of sense. Uh, all these all these characters who are sworn to the dark or whatever, uh, it was that they said in the notifications as justification for this weird gauntlet. Uh, yeah, none of them are really, like, pledged themselves. Like, I don't know, Tiki and Celica and, uh, Talk Me were all kind of like, uh, I, I, I don't think that they really chose willingly, so I don't, I don't know how much that description fits and of course there's no blue for bear coot uh uh tiki slightly better fodder than celica special fighters more premium than anything celica has but neither is that interesting to me uh so we'll just take this sad azama you know uh, honestly you could make the argument that Az azama is more evil than anyone on the actual banner so you know what that's fitting <laughs> All right, Weekly Revival 5, uh, featuring Erica, Hector, and Murr. Uh, of these, the only ones, one I don't have is Hector, so I guess we'll go for him. Murr would be our backup, because I actually do use her every so often. Well, that ended up being a moot point. Uh, gonna try for a Hector. Come on, big boy. Nope, just a Florina. Whatevs. And to close out the month, we have a uh, legendary hero, Corrin. But it's not the Corrin that I wanted. I'm going to take it back, get a refund. This was not my order. Uh. <laughs> well, once again, uh. Saddened the. Female Corrin just immediately, like, male Corrin finally catches up with her in terms of alts. And then immediately they're just like, nope, can't have that. And they're like, okay, here, have a female corn. I'm just like, mm. uh, really wanted to see legendary male corn, but instead we got sad depression boy. Uh, and that makes me a sad depression boy, but I guess I'll live. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> but so we're gonna finish off the month with this. Uh, Colorless looks really good here. The other colors are eh. There's some nice stuff like Nils, Rinka, Hector, Red, but uh, nothing that I desperately need. I do wish I had more orbs though because Colorless is pretty stacked. I'd love to have a, like maybe two Bramimond, one to keep, one to fodder for uh, uh, Garen to give him attack res uh, lull. Uh, Milla would be great to have another offensive light option. Uh, the problem is air. Her healing is really nice except for when it's not, which is vantage in Gale Force strategies where uh, I need desperation on my Gale Forcer and for them to be in Wings of Mercy range and I need vantage on my vantage units, obviously. So air's passive healing is actually counterproductive there. So having another option to run so I can still have air's sparkling boost equipped but not have her trigger when it's not helpful would be nice. Uh, but uh, so I wouldn't mind picking up Mila's. I wouldn't mind picking up uh, Bramimon's and Corn herself is not bad looking despite how upset I am. Uh, DC and Joint Horn Attack is nice fodder combo. Not that I have anyone in particular who would want that combo currently, uh, but we'll, we'll just pull like any, well, I was gonna say we'll just pull any colorless that pop up, but uh, that would be zero. So I guess mission mission succeeded. Um, I guess I'll pull blue. I guess I like the chance at Nils slightly more than I like the chance at Fallen Ike, just because I prefer Nils. Ah, yes. <laughs> My tragedy has been rectified. Yes, the boy is home. Huzzah. Plus HP, uh, probably not amazing, but uh, could help him dodge like isolation effects, so not bad. Uh, more importantly, I just like Nils. He was probably my favorite character 
in Binding Blade. I mean, not counting Mark, of course, because I've got a self-insert obsession, but <laughs> I really like Nils. He was really cool. Uh, so I'm happy. Oh yeah, he, he comes with Infantry Pulse, so yeah, maybe in uh, Pulse type works off of defense too. So yeah, having him as a de as a uh, plus HP is actually probably pretty nice. Uh, so happy day. Oh, gotta keep that plus HP. Thank you, Banner, Legendary Banner. Uh, so that ends the month. Uh, overall, very successful in terms of the free or nearly free summons. We got uh, Tibarn, Xander. Uh, well, no, it was Veronica, but it was Xander. We all know it was Xander. And uh, Annette. And then now Nils. So that's really good overall. Uh, very happy and very pleased. So uh, that makes up for my uh, my Corin dilemma ever so slightly. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys as always so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, you guys are lucky as well in your free summon or your summons, uh, free or otherwise, in the uh, current or coming banners. And until next time, this is Hoodie Angel Brandon signing out.